Members of a visiting U.S. Women's Peace and Education Delegation, an advocacy group, urged the U.S. administration to lift the freeze on Afghanistan's assets on Thursday. Kelly Campbell, a member of the group, said that the week-long visit was aimed at working for Afghanistan's central bank reserves to be returned to the Afghan people. It's clear from what I saw this week that Afghanistan needs its funds returned as soon as possible to shore up the banking system and help heal the economy. But this money does not belong to 9-11 family members, to the U.S. or to the Taliban. The money belongs to the people of Afghanistan. In the wake of U.S.-led FOSS's withdrawal from Afghanistan and the Taliban's takeover of the country's power last August, the U.S. government has frozen some $9 billion of Afghan assets, which has worsened the war-torn country's already fragile economy. U.S. President Joe Biden issued a decree in February, allocating $3.5 billion of the frozen sum to the 9-11 victims' families and earmarking another $3.5 billion for humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan.